welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name is Gabby. And, this and I'm is Connor. Connor, what do you do here? Parts, service, YouTube. Detail. Detail. Everything. Really everything. Hang out. <laughs> and then, of course, if you are new here, my name is Gabby. I am usually the host of this channel, featured by or joined by either Connor, our dealer principal, or our general manager, Tim. So today we're going to do a full walk around and an ownership review of the 2023 Kia Forte GT line, the car right behind us. This one is featured in Gravity Gray, which is one of my favorite colors that Kia offers. I like it. Connor, as a detailer, would you say Gravity Gray is one of the easiest cars to keep looking new? I would say so. <laughs> I always try to avoid black and white cars, but a gray is a nice middle ground and I'd pick gray any day of the week. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually the car I ordered and never got because it took too long. <laughs> I ended up with the white Kia Forte GT line. I absolutely love this vehicle, so I am someone who owns one. I've had it for just over a year now. So I will give you guys a little bit of an ownership kind of perspective at the end of today's video. And uh, we'll start off with talking about why we do these videos. It'll be really quick, guys, don't worry. And if you are new here, we'll get into the full walk around at the three minute mark, so you can skip over there. So we do these videos for three reasons. Connor may not know the three reasons, so I'm gonna explain it to him and to you guys. Number one, you may own a Kia or Hyundai vehicle. We wanna be almost like your owner's manual, maybe a bit more entertaining and maybe a bit more informative. So if you have any questions about anything Kia or Hyundai, we've probably done a video on it, how to get into your car when the key fob dies, how to start your car when the key fob dies, full walk arounds, reviews, everything. Number two, if you are considering a new vehicle, we want you to add Kia or Hyundai or both to your selection list. We think these vehicles offer fantastic value. There's great, great features in these cars, great safety. They're rated car of the year almost every single year for the Telluride, the EV6. Yeah. Almost all of our vehicles have won awards. And then number three, if you are in Ontario and you want a Kia or Hyundai, why not buy it from us? We have three stores. Each of them would be very happy to help you out. So Brantford Kia, where we work every day, the Brantford Kia studio. And if you want parts, you can even reach out to Connor. Yep, he works here, here too. <laughs> and then Owen Sound Hyundai and Brantford Hyundai. All right, now Connor will show you guys how you can join our next live video. So if you're already watching this one, you found our channel, you know where to find us. If you want to subscribe, please do. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers. But to catch our next upcoming video, you'll go to either our home tab here or a live tab. And you'll see today's video is listed as upcoming. From there, all you have to do is click on it. It might make you watch an ad. It might not even load if you're using our Wi-Fi. It's really good here. <laughs> it's a little lemon ad though, I'll give it that. Usually it's another car dealership. <laughs> We're just like, never, don't pay attention to that. Um, on the right side over here, you'll see we have a live chat box and that's where you guys can leave your questions or comments. We love doing these videos in a live format because we can actually interact with you guys. If there's anything you may want to know about the vehicle we're filming, you can always ask us live and we will see it. Towards the end of the walk around, we'll come back to this computer here and answer your questions. Just go through everything we may have missed while we were walking around the car. And with that being said, let's check out the car. I like to think I know this car pretty well. With a year of driving one, this one's not physically mine. Um, I, however, I totally wish because the color. Uh, I absolutely love it. I can vouch for its fuel efficiency and its reliability in the year I've been driving it. It is an absolute dream to drive. Very, very smooth, great features, and I'll show you all of them. I'll start off with Connor showing you guys the front of the vehicle while I turn on the lights. So the GT line here in Canada, I know it differs in the States, but you'll get full LED lights and fog lights. I'm just gonna make sure the sound is off. There we go. So you can see right there, beautiful headlight unit, super, super bright. Um, I typically drive in Brantford, which has a lot of country roads, going back home at night, it can be really, really dark. I never have a problem with visibility, um, especially being a lower car, it's super nice to have a good headlight system so you can see everything around you. On the very bottom, you get LED fog lights. So this is only available in the GT line trim and above here in Canada. Absolutely love a fog light. I think it makes a really big difference and these ones are super bright. Coming to the very front of the vehicle, you'll see we have some red accents integrated into the grille and below down here around your fog light unit. So this is only on the GT line and GT limited trims here in Canada. I think it looks phenomenal. Aesthetic wise, the GT line and the GT limited look almost exactly the same. The big differences lie inside the vehicle. So of course with the GT, you're gonna get a 1.6 liter turbocharged engine with a seven speed dual clutch transmission. In the GT line, the emphasis is on sporty looks, but a more economical and practical experience inside. So under the hood is a two liter four cylinder engine. The horsepower output is 147 and the torque is 132 pound feet. I'll show you guys under the hood. 
For the transmission, you also get an IVT transmission, which stands for Intelligent Variable Transmission, and it truly is a very intelligent transmission. <laughs> So this vehicle is extremely fuel efficient. If you put it into sport mode, it is a lot more fun to drive. It definitely makes a difference, but it won't kill you at the gas tank or at the gas station. Now I'll have Connor come to the side here and I'll show you guys the wheels, or he'll show you guys the wheels. These are 17 inch machine finished alloys. If you go up to the GT trim, you'll get 18 inch machine finished alloys with a similar design, but they'll have a red cap in the center. I think these wheels look very, very nice, very flashy. For the mirrors here, it's hard to tell with the darker paint color, but they are black piano, piano black mirror caps with an LED turn signal repeater on the side there. Absolutely love having a turn signal repeater on the mirror, especially if you do a lot of highway driving so people can see what your next move is. Connor, aesthetic wise, what do you think of the Kia Forte GT line? My favorite part is the front bumper accents. The red? I think the red in the grill looks really sharp. Oh yeah. I will say, I was a little iffy about the red accents on colors like the blues. We have two different shades of blues on the Forte, but it looks really good. It stands out even more on those colors for sure. But it looks classy and sporty on the black, the grays, the whites. Coming up to the back, we have a glossy black lip spoiler on the top. So again, shared with the GT trim here in Canada. And then we also have LED taillights. So these are very bright, kind of hard to tell when we're in our video bay, but at nighttime you can definitely tell they're LEDs. Really, really nice. And then down here, we have almost a fake dual exhaust look, but there's a single exhaust on this vehicle. You can tell they really put an emphasis on a sporty look, which I mean, is really nice to have, but it's always nice to have that extra fuel efficiency and reliability of the Kia Forte. Oh, it has a button in the back. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's, that's a bonus for me. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. So some of the uh, lower end vehicles in this size class, they won't have a button on the very back of the trunk. They'll just have a latch by the driver's foot. And I will not lie, almost every single time I drive one of those, I come to the back, I'm like, yeah, I'll just open up the trunk. And then I walk right back to the driver's side and have to do that. It's very nice to have a release here. You don't realize how good it is until it's gone. <laughs> so I'll open this up and I'll show you guys what the trunk space is like. And then again, from an ownership perspective, I can tell you whenever I go to the cottage and I have to take coolers or just a bunch of stuff in the trunk, I mean, the opening looks small, but this trunk is huge. It is seriously huge. It might actually sit in there. And you can you put guys. the seats down as well. Yeah, you can put the seats down. You can see I have long legs and I can completely stretch my legs and I'm on an angle still. There is seriously, I know this is a very official method of uh, measurement, but it is spacious back there. There we go. I can't vouch for comfort of the trunk, but it's definitely spacious. All right. I love how official this channel is. Some people, um, they always comment and ask like, can you tell Kia to make this an option, this an option? We're not Kia head office guys. I don't know if you could tell, but we're not that official. And now I'll have Connor come to the side here with me. The side, yep. <laughs> and we'll quickly take a look inside before I hop in. So if you're someone who absolutely needs a leather or a synthetic leather interior, you've got to get the GT line. This is the only trim level um, with the standard cylinder engine, so naturally has to be for cylinder at seating surface. And bonus, it's a sport. Tell them what those seats look like. <laughs> I'm a fan of like the white stitching and aren't they nice? Got your little GT line logo in the back. And not only do they look good, get this. They're heated and they're ventilated. So I don't know if you guys are from around here, but it is super hot and super sunny. Like all this week, it's been horrible. It is painful to get into a leather interior car and burn your butt. <laughs> it's super nice to have the ventilated seats for sure. Now, another thing that this vehicle features is a power driver seat. So this is a big feature for a lot of our customers. It is super, super easy to make adjustments, especially when you are driving. If you're unfamiliar with manual seats, You'll have to reach in between your legs in the center to unlock it so you can slide it forwards or backwards. And if you are doing that while driving, if you're on an incline or something, it'll send you all the way to the back and it's terrifying. So it's super easy to make minor adjustments as you're driving with a power seat. On top of that, you also get lumbar support right over here so you can push it in or out on your back to make it a little bit better. Are we having technical difficulties? Someone mentioned some Wi-Fi issues. Hopefully they kind of solve themselves out. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Guys, hopefully it gets better. S stick with us. <laughs> 
Now on the left side here, we have our brightness adjustments and our blind spot detection. This uh, trim level features great safety features like forward collision avoidance, blind spot detection, lane keep and lane follow assist, highway drive assist, I'll get into those later, but it's super easy to turn on or off if you're not a fan of those features. To the right of that, we have our traction control, so you can quickly turn that off. And then I will quickly grab the camera from Connor just to show you guys some things on our steering wheel. All right. I'm just going to move my seat back a bit so you guys can see everything. The steering wheel itself definitely has a more sporty look compared to the other Forte trim levels. You can see it has a flat bottom and you have a GT line badge on the very bottom there. It is also heated, so this heats the entire wheel, not just certain touch points, which means no matter how you like to drive, your hands will be nice and warm. And if it is winter here in Canada, you'll probably be wearing gloves when you get into your car. You can take your gloves off and still be able to use your touch screen and everything and be very warm. Your hands warm. <laughs> Now for our gauges here, we have analog gauges for your speedometer and your tachometer. So tachometer there, speedometer on the right, you also have a fuel gauge and a temperature gauge. In this main rectangular section here, you can actually change what it displays. So right now it's going to tell me that my door is open, but we're not going to close it because it is so hot in here. To change the information that's displayed, we're just going to press this button right over here, and I'll show you what we can look at. So we have our driver attention level, our drive info, which is going to be your fuel readings, your distance to empty um, or a digital speedometer. We also have our navigation compass and then we have our tire pressure monitoring display. So you can choose whatever you like to drive with best. A lot of our customers choose this just because it's super nice to have a digital projection of your speed and because this vehicle does have navigation once I hit an actual main road so whether it be a highway or just a city street it'll project my speed limit right over there so it'll show me if it's 50 kilometers per hour or you know, 100 kilometers per hour. I just saw someone say no paddle shifters. Yeah, so there's no paddle shifters on the GT line with the regular IVD transmission, but there are paddle shifters on the full GT, which has the turbo engine and the dual clutch transmission. All right, Connor, do you want to join me in the car? Sure. All right, perfect. Uh, someone asked about pricing wise. Yep. We have our window sticker here. Perfect. Total price is $29,595. And that's with freight, I believe. Yep, yeah, that's, yeah, color change, tax. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and I heard someone mention the Miata. That is my personal vehicle. All right. So I'll get into the main screen here. I will say if you're someone who really appreciates navigation, you'll have to get this trim level as well. So on the GT line is where you're introduced to this beautiful 10 and a quarter inch display. This trim does still have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, however, it won't be wireless. So what that means is you have to have a physical cord, like a phone cable, um, charging cable for your phone, and plug it into this USB right over here, and then of course into your phone. Whether you have an Apple phone or an Android phone will change what you get. So of course you'll get Android Auto with an Android phone, Apple CarPlay with an Apple phone, but the same setup, it's very, very seamless. You just plug it in, and as long as you have a good cord, not one that's broken or a very, very cheap one, you'll have a seamless connection to the main screen here. So this is gonna allow you to use apps like Waze, Spotify, Apple Maps, um, Apple Music, whatever you like to use. It'll be right up there and super, super easy. All you gotta do is plug it in, and then once you unplug it, it's gone, which means you can use your regular Kia main interface here. So we'll talk about their Kia interface. This is your main home screen. So once you turn on your car, this is what you're gonna be looking at. You got your date, time, whatever media you're listening to, and then you actually have a live feed of whatever is um, your area. So your map, of course. If I were to press this section, it'll take me straight up to my map. I can also go to my navigation menu by pressing the nav button, search for places. You can even look up point of interest categories. So if you are in somewhere where you're unfamiliar with the area, this is a great option. You can find closest restaurant to you, whatever it may be. And the best feature about this built-in navigation is if you don't have service or you're somewhere, your, your phone's dead, although your phone probably won't be dead in this vehicle because you do have a wireless phone charger as well as all these other USB ports, you still have the option of using the built-in Kia navigation. It works very, very well. I'll also show you the rest of our options. So we'll slide over. You have phone, of course, where you can connect your Bluetooth devices, answer calls, send text messages using just your voice. It's very, very good. Listen to voicemails. You even have the option of voice memo. So if you're someone who likes to, I don't know, write down what you got to do for the day, or maybe not write down, jot down, how would you say it? <laughs> you would, you would literally down, say yeah. it, yeah. you know what I mean? So you can leave voice memos in your car. Maybe it's your daughter's car, or your kid's car. You can say, I love you to them, something sweet. 
<laughs> um, we also have a climate control screen where you can see what's going on with your climate and turn on these great features like automatic dehumidify and auto defog. So this car is literally so smart that if your windows start to fog up, it'll take care of it by itself, which means you don't have to have the struggle of, wait, do I turn the heat up or the AC on? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if that's relatable, but Connor, is it relatable? I, I, yeah. Okay, so I, I'm not crazy. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sometimes I'm panicking. I'm like, I don't know what I have to do to get rid of this. I usually try both and whatever yeah. works. Yeah, <laughs> just hope one works before you can't see anymore. Uh, you also have valet mode, which will block out your addresses that are saved in your navigation menu and block out your saved radio presets. That way, if you are giving your car to a valet, it is completely blank. Like if you were to just pick up your car from factory, which is something I've never really thought of until we introduced it. And I thought it's actually a really great feature to have. We also have quiet mode. So quiet mode mutes the speakers that are in the back of this vehicle. So for your back seats, this is great if you have pets or kids and they're trying to sleep, but you still want to enjoy some music. So it's super easy to turn on. And then before we hop into the back and go over some of the other buttons in the front here, I'm going to show you guys where we can control our vehicle um, driver assistances. So I don't know if you guys saw that. Sorry, I was talking and not showing you guys. You go to setup and then vehicle and then driver assistance. You can see we have all these tabs here. So for example, I'll just hit drive and convenience. We have highway drive assist and anything here you can easily check off if you don't want this feature on. Essentially, highway drive assist is a navigation based smart cruise control. So it's going to know the speed limit of the highway that you're on. It's going to know if there's a curve in the road. It's going to actually take those curves of the road for you and maintain a safe following distance from the vehicle ahead of you. It's absolutely fantastic. The only thing that some of our customers don't seem to love about it is it does have the option to automatically change your speed. So if you're not a fan of this, you can easily unclick that and still use your highway drive assist without it automatically changing the speed limit for you. So it's just based off if the speed limit of the highway changes from 100 to 90, for example, or 100 to 110. Uh, you also have the option of changing the warning timing and the warning volume if you find it's a bit too loud or too quiet for you, or if you think it reacts a bit too, more, a bit too sensitive or a bit too late. Uh, forward collision avoidance, you can turn it off or you can make it just provide a warning for you if you don't want it to actually break for you. Then we also have some parking safety features like rear cross traffic, which will alert you if there is a vehicle or a pedestrian coming from either the left or right side when your car is in reverse. This is phenomenal if you are driving this vehicle in the city and you frequently find yourself in busy parking lots. I absolutely love it. And the vehicle will actively break for you if it senses that there is someone coming and you're not paying attention. Now down here, Here's something I wish we could turn on right now, and that's the AC. <laughs> so we do have a uh, dual climate control. So that means I can set my temperature to low and Connor can have his to high. For example, we're definitely not doing that today, but <laughs> um, it is an option. So if you are frequently carrying passengers and they have very different temperature preferences, it is super nice to have a dual climate control. You can also sync it up so it's all the same. It's super easy to use. So of course my left uh, gauge is for me and then right is for the passenger. And then if you'd like to manually select your fan speeds, you can press these buttons here. So an increase or decrease, and then your front and rear defrost and the directions of your fans. On the shelf below, we have our wireless phone charger. So as long as your phone is um, capable of inductive charging, you just drop it on the shelf and you'll charge without a cord. Right below that, we have a 12 volt for power. A USB for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and software updates. And then another USB for faster charging close this up we have your gear shift right in the center and then our controls for our seats so heated seats and ventilated seats three different levels for driver and passenger a heated steering wheel this is perfect for the winter <laughs> and then our drive mode select so when I press this button it's gonna cycle me between normal sport and smart and this is not a gimmick it truly changes the way the vehicle performs if you've ever been in the car with me you know even if we're just going down the road to the bank or something it's in sport mode and that's not because i love putting gas in my car it's because i do love how much more sensitive it is to throttle response um, it will change the way the vehicle performs in the sense that it'll hold a gear much longer in sport mode rather than shifting super quickly to be more efficient it's going to make the throttle be a bit more sensitive and your steering will be a bit stiffer now Normal mode or smart mode, on the other hand, will be more of a tuned down, fuel efficient, just standard drive. It doesn't feel sluggish by any means, but it will shift a bit quicker um, and just not have as much pep in its step, but still pretty responsive. To the right, we have our little camera button. So when I press this while I'm parked, I get a live feed displaying my backup camera. Now you don't have to press this every time you want to see your camera. As soon as you throw your car into reverse, this will come up automatically. This is just if you're parked and want to take a look at what's in your camera. 
All right, in the very center, we have two cup holders, a little storage space here that I always find myself putting my key in when I get into the car, then an electronic parking brake and our auto hold feature. We also have our center console. It doesn't look too spacious, but I have a lot of things in mind, so I'm sure you guys can find things to put in there. <laughs> and then on the right, we have our glove box. So I'll have Connor quickly open that up. Lots of manuals. <laughs> So we got French, English, we got a warranty manual, tire manual, everything manual. But the box itself is quite deep and pretty wide. There's fancy little air vents as well. Oh, the vents are very nice. Um, one more thing I'll show you guys before we hop in the back. This isn't mentioned on any of the brochures, but on the GT line and the GT itself, so GT Limited, you get a black headliner. And the reason I point this out, it completely changes the vibe of the car. It feels much more sporty. It's more... I don't know, I see it definitely feels more premium, a black headliner, does it not, Connor? One of my, yeah, my Honda Civic has a black headliner and it, it, it changes I, I everything. like it better than the beige. Absolutely. Um, another thing is, if you frequently wear dirty hats or whatever, or you, I don't know, do people drive and touch the ceiling? I, I they, they might. don't, but. Um, <laughs> it doesn't look as dirty when it gets dirty, which is bonus. Um, I will open up our sunroof. So we do get a power roof in this vehicle. You push it back to open it up push it forwards to close it and push it up to tilt it. I personally love having it tilted because it gives a little bit of airflow, but it's not enough to mess up your hair. All right, now let's take a look at the back. <laughs> it is so hot in here. <laughs> All right. There's plastic what? in the back. Who put that there? <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember, but I moved my seat very far back so I could show you guys the steering wheel while I was filming. And I still have, what, four inches of knee room or leg room, that much space. Um, headroom wise, it's definitely not our biggest back seat, uh, but I'm quite comfortable. The seats do have a nice recline to them as well, so you don't feel like you're too straight up, uh, but you don't feel like you're falling into the seat and you can't see out your window. So it's a nice in between. Um, both of the main seats here are heated and you have two different levels of heat. So Connor will show you the switch to turn them on. I know we're not really thinking about heated seats right now, but in the winter, they truly do make a difference. In the very, very center, we have a cup holder and armrest. And then of course, a third seat. Not the best seat in the house, that's for sure. However, I will say the Forte definitely excels in comfort for the middle seat as opposed to some of our other vehicles. And that's because the center hump over here isn't too high. So if I did have to sit here and I had two people sitting beside me, I wouldn't feel the need to put my feet on their side because I'm not too hunched over. And then on top of that, for added comfort, we do have rear air vents and a USB on the very bottom there. So you do have some connectivity and you're not gonna be feeling too hot, especially on a day like today if you are sitting in the back. Up here, we do have some interior lights and they are LEDs, I don't know if you guys can tell. At nighttime, these are super impressive. You can see everything. So if you ever decide to clean your car at night or you drop a french fry, whatever it could be, you will find that fry. <laughs> you can literally see everything. They're super, super good. It's almost like a black light. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can see anything. Now, let me know if you guys have any questions about the Forte GT line. If you have any questions for me, based off my ownership experience, if you have any questions for Connor, he's driven them, he's bought parts for them. He just knows them. <laughs> and we'll head back to the computer. <coughs> All right. Put that down there. Maybe a little low. Here we go. Now the car is in frame. I'll unplug my laptop. All right, let's see. <laughs> now the one question I seen early on was how many coats of ceramic coating we do. Um, at the dealership, we only do one, um, just for kind of efficiency purposes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'd be great if we could do more, but with how many vehicles we're selling and putting out, then it is one coat, but I believe it's a 10 year warranty on that. So there's no worry if there's any uh, problems with the ceramic coat, um, there's a 10 year warranty and mm -hmm. we'll deal with any problems that come arise. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So I saw some, wow, there's actually quite a bit of questions for this vehicle. There was a lot of vehicle. questions I seen come up. <laughs> Someone said, nice thumbnail, Gabby. Finally, some action in it. Guys, I had to spice it up. What could I say? I didn't wear heels today, so we're going to 
<laughs> be more athletic, I guess. Um, oh! Okay, let's see a lot of hellos. Um, David4509, who I know in person, said we're late, but we posted <laughs> that we'd be late today. Guys, I, I know you can't see everything that happens at the dealership, but let me tell you, today was, it was a busy day. It was a mess. How was it in parts? Pretty slow, actually. Pretty slow? Pretty okay. slow. <laughs> <laughs> For say, I know I'm not really a sales consultant anymore, but I, I do still do some sales on the side if you guys ever want to buy a car. Um, it, it's been nuts, like seriously nuts. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what can you say about Steel Gray as a detailer? Uh, it's I kind think of, Steel Gray might even be better than Gravity Gray. Uh, uh, kind of in between. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we yeah. have a Steel Gray car right here that we can show you. It's a little bit lighter. Yeah. Oh. Kind of between bit, the two. I'm kind of. A bit more silverish. Yeah. You might see um, like fallout spots a little bit easier. Um, like on a white car, you see kind of yellowish, reddish spots. Um, but for the most part, there really wouldn't be too much of a difference. So it's, either way, you're probably good. Yeah. Um, let's see, uh, fog lights, my EX doesn't have that. Yes, um, I never realized how much I liked having fog lights until right? I drove yeah, my brother's yeah. car and there was none. <laughs> like none. It's not really, I don't really use them for fog purposes, I guess, no, which I, is bad, but. I usually use them out in the country. Yeah, Makes me feel a bit exactly. better if I can see the sides of the road. Exactly. Um, Stop by to say hello because the thumbnail made me laugh. Have a good weekend, Kia friends. You have a good weekend too. Thank if you're still watching, I'm not sure, but if you're watching this later, I hope you have a great weekend. Um, <laughs> it's so dang hot. Put your cheese sandwich on the hood of your car and voila, grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it's very bad. Um, my, my company. Are you about to read that one? Oh uh, yeah. My company my is off oh. me. Oh, <laughs> cut you twice. Go for it. <laughs> EV uh, Nero in green. What do you mm -hmm. think of the green for keeping clean? Kinda we right. actually haven't gotten a green Nero EV yet, so we can't so. speak on like actual experience. Yeah. But I don't think it'll be very hard to keep clean. The only car I would truly stay away from. I, I personally, I love the look of black cars. Oh, but yeah. they're the worst. Nightmare. They they show dust. Yeah. They show scratches. It's. They're very nice when they're new, yeah. and then if a customer trades in a black car, it doesn't even matter if it's two years old, three years old, yeah. it's it's rough. You take it through an automatic car wash, and that's kind of the end. Yeah. But green, it should be no problem keeping that clean. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm going to scroll to the bottom and see what's going on. Can we have a blooper video, maybe? It's hard to post a blooper video when all of our videos are live, so you guys mm. see the bloopers in our live video. We can't edit them out, right? Fair enough, yeah, so, good point. I think it was last week I did a video and I completely like walked into the hatch, like the, <laughs> and you can hear like the <laughs> happening in my brain. So um, yeah, <laughs> just watch any of our videos, you'll find a blooper. <laughs> He said, James said, hey guys, I prefer red or silver for a car color. Red is definitely nice, yeah, depending like on the car. Yeah. Um, silver is always, is always beautiful. Um, Gabby, how much is the GT in line? So we already covered this a bit earlier, but it comes to just after, just under, no, just over 29,000. Yeah, I think it was 29,500. With fees, yeah. yeah. Um, without tax though. Canada uses English. Yes. No, we're not speaking English. <laughs> we try, but. <laughs> Um, I have added a protection package. Do you mind stating what's in the package? Oh, yeah. Will I have the PPF on my car? Uh, it depends what kind of protection package you got. We offer, I, our dealership specifically, so this will vary dealer to dealer, but yeah. we have paint protections, we have interior protections, we have ceramic coating packages, yeah. PPF packages. So it's, it's very different. it's very hard to say. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go up a little bit. Someone said, what are the trims for this? So for the Forte, it starts off with the LX here in Canada, which is the base vehicle. However, it's not basic at all, I would say. You still get heated seats, nice backup camera, wireless Apple CarPlay. Um, then it goes up to the EX and the EX Plus, and then the EX Premium, and then the GT line, and then the GT, which is the turbocharged. Every trim level below the GT just has the same um, two liter engine and IVT transmission. Um, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Um, Denise said, you took care of my needs well on Wednesday to get my Sportage. We do need to chat about a couple of things, maybe Monday. Yes. So 
Denise, um, Tim, and Pat are both not here today or tomorrow, but we will be back, or they will be back on Monday, so I can handle the paint issue on Monday. <laughs> A customer of mine, I think it was her garage, but she picked up her car and then scratched it on her garage. And oh, well, we could probably the take day it that out. she picked it up, oh. I felt so bad. We could probably take a look at it, It'd probably buff out. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, lots of questions. Um, we got a lot of hellos as well, so hi guys. Thank you for saying yeah. hi to us. <laughs> Um, Man, Ethan was really curious about the trims for this. Yeah, Ethan, I hope I answered your question. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Why isn't Pat recording anymore? Pat is on vacation right now. Um, he's actually in Portugal, so my yeah. homeland. <laughs> um, the motherland. <laughs> um, let's see. Denise said she'd text you on Monday. Perfect. All right, guys. I think my sister is looking for a husband. Connor, are you married? <laughs> I'm not married, but I do have a girlfriend. Thank you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I... Uh, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys, I think we'll probably end off today's live video. Um, this is Friday, or today is Friday, so we'll be back again next week on Monday with another Kia Live. <laughs> Lots of ha-has. Sorry, that was so funny. Um, so we hope to see you guys again next week, and hopefully we have a lot more new and exciting vehicles. Um, maybe we'll see Connor again, too, especially because yeah, Pat's on vacation. Yeah, I'll probably be here again on Monday. Of course. I will say, uh, I feel like I say this every time you're on one of our lives, but Connor was on our most popular video. So if you look at our most watched video, it has, I think, 1.5 million views. It was my third live, was it and I was filming with Connor. Yeah, mm -hmm. my very, literally my third live. I had no idea what I was doing. I was terrified. And yeah, we made it work. Yeah, we, we made it work. <laughs> Me and Connor made it work, yep. and yeah. So thank you guys for watching on that note. Yeah, Seriously, I I, we really appreciate it. It's crazy to think how big some of the videos are yeah. and how big the channel's gotten in the past year. It's, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> someone said girlfriend is a Gabby. I am not Connor's girlfriend yeah, if that's yeah. what you're asking, no. <laughs> but I am somebody's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye now. <laughs> that was the longest outro ever. <laughs>